I love hip hop, so there's a certain things I, I would like to think of as bars in the movie. Bars. <laughs> And it's like that line of what if we're just who we are in the around in the moment. Try that again. Let's try that again. <laughs> Fumbled ass bars. Hi, I'm Stella McGee, the writer director of the photograph, and I am Issa Rae, one of the actresses in the photograph, and this is Notes on a Scene. I like Kanye, yes. but I'm just concerned that he don't care about music no more. He does not. That's they don't not care a, about that's us. A valid, he does not care about us uh -huh. anymore. Uh -huh. He cares about. Interior design, like when do you get into it? <laughs> like I'm not trying to buy Kanye pillows. You know? no, I wrote the photograph about five years ago. It started off kind of with an idea when you wouldn't think of. It was my grandmother kind of being reunited with the daughter she had not seen in over 30 years. And I was experiencing what she was experiencing and ended up flipping that into kind of a more romantic love. As things started picking up to get it made, I had just done an episode of Insecure with Issa and we seem to like each other. I really liked her. <laughs> she was like a trash person, but I really liked her. And like Issa was hard to deal with, but she was she was fun to drink with, so there was a compromise. No, I got to see the nuances of all of her performances. And so when we were getting closer to green light, she's the first person I thought of and, and sent it to you. I was like, oh, and read it immediately. You're a fast reader. Thank you so much. That's a compliment. <laughs> and was honored that she thought about me for it. I was like, oh, where's the best friend character? Cause she's probably <laughs> <laughs> thinking of me for that. The scene that we're breaking down is kind of your first date with mm -hmm. Lakeith, or Michael, as yes. he is called in this movie. We shot it at Indochin in New York City. We were really looking for something that felt layered and storied. Mm, mm -hmm. I was eyeing the food the whole time. When we do this thing, <laughs> I'm gonna show you all there. the dishes. That we didn't go, go eat there? there? No, we didn't go we eat We can there. go when we go back to New York. Uh, false promises. Yeah. It's funny cause with Indochin, Machine. Like I was looking for the place and my production designer kept telling me about this place and I kept being like, I don't think it's right. And as soon and he was like, please, let's just go see it. And when I walked in, it was the color palette of our film. Like these jewel tones, these dark greens and the you deep green lights right here. The lights, everything about it is so rich. Even the, the plants yeah, and the stuff, they kind of on. added to the pastoral vibes of kind of connecting to Louisiana. It was kind of based on a real date that I'd had. It was this really great booth date. Like, and I just kept thinking of this booth and you guys really getting to know each other and being kind of really close in proximity. I mean, I loved the back booth and even though putting you back there didn't add kind of depth behind you, we had this amazing, you know, this amazing mirror back here. I remember moving a lot of just like, no, it's not right here. Right. It's here. We, we got tried it a few, spot. yeah. Yes. And it was like amazing because I wanted you guys, the restaurant to feel busy, mm. but I wanted y'all to feel like you were alone and intimate and kind of only could see each other in the moment. And I really wanted to start kind of creeping in on their conversation. So we had kind of a long dolly track that kind of just pushed slowly in, kind of past all the patrons in the restaurant. Drake. Drake, okay. See, Drake, for me, Drake is like, the homie. Like, yeah. you know, he's like a friend at school who you know. And in, who knows us? You guys were ad-libbing, because we the scene wasn't really supposed to start till the camera stopped. Oh, yeah. And yeah, you, we were ad-libbing. And you made up this fun ad-lib about, like, Kanye pillows and interior design that you I know, ended up keeping. It was it was very much, like, true to our actual lives. I wasn't yeah. really acting there, because I'm a Drake stan, and Lakeith is a Kendrick stan, so. It was a real battle. It was a real battle. I thought that was, like, a fun way to kind of show chemistry, because sometimes when you're on dates, you connect by arguing a little bit, you know? Very true, that flirtatious Which is a little immature. Yeah, is. but you're trying to be flirtatious, you're trying to like connect and have fun with each other and a, like a little debate can be very uh, fun. Just, no, hear me out, I just, he makes me feel guilty. Cause yeah, I, also, I just feel like, I, everybody can't be a change in the world. Everybody oh, can't okay. do that, it's too right. ambitious. Mm -hmm. As the date progresses, it's meant to get a little bit closer. So right now, you know, it went from kind of that wide to this like, you know, closer shot of Lakeith where he's really his getting eyes. in. <laughs> Look at his piercing ass eyes. Lakeith's eyes are very soulful that you can get caught up in them. Oh, you I do. believe anything he says when he tells me it. 100% lying ass. <laughs> He's not a liar okay. in this movie. You're right. I remember in the edit room going back and forth with my editor, Shannon, of that moment where he's like building up the courage to like yeah. get closer to you and wanting to see you both in the frame as that happened. And he kind of says the wrong thing and then we kind of pop out. <laughs> it's just, I don't want to say the same thing that I've said to another woman, you know. Are no. there a lot of other women? No, nah, there's a lot of first dates. Yeah, I'm 
terrible at first date. Like, no, I just don't know whether to be vulnerable, aloof, funny. Why don't you just be yourself? I don't know who that is. I mean, this this part is one of my favorite things. You're like trying to present the best version of yourself on a date and figure out also what will kind of captivate him. And he was like, just be yourself. And it was such a simple thing to say, but it was such a moment where you said the most honest thing, like, who's that? Yeah. And that's why we're really close on you here. I think those little moments are when you realize, oh, he's he's kind of seeing me. Mm -hmm. For May to like not know who she is yeah. and to kind of just have this word vomit of self-deprecation in a way and these yeah. insecurities. And he's so things. secure secure in his in his discomfort. Yeah. He's very, very... He's secure in his flaws. Yeah, exactly. Like. <laughs> no, I'm, maybe I'm just a collection of rub dresses and Kehinde Wiley prints. I don't think so. You know, I love hip hop, so there's a certain things I, I would like to think of as bars in the movie. Bars. <laughs> And it's like that line of, you know, what if we're just who we are in the around in the moment? Let's try that again. Let's try that again. It's fumbled ass bars. It's hey, good. It's good. What, what, it's just, good. Uh, you ever wonder if we're just, if we're just who we're around in the moment? I would think that it's important that we pay attention to who we surround ourselves with. Uh, true. There's such a fine line when you're doing romance of like what sounds profound and what mm. sounds corny. <laughs> but I was really, the way that you ended up saying like, what if we're just around who we are in the moment? Mm. It was so soulful. Like mm. I was like, ooh. And you felt very vulnerable mm. when you said it. Mm. <laughs> I'm wondering if it's not too early in the night to kiss you. This was one of my favorite scenes to shoot. Same. This was the big kiss This moment. was the big moment. We had to get it right. We scheduled the whole day for this scene. I had a whole playlist going. Do you remember? I don't. <laughs> I brought my speaker. I had a playlist going. There was probably Drake on it. There was. There I do was. remember now. Remember? OK, yes. It was a good playlist. Yes. And it's the one day on set I've ever worn heels in my whole life. Because you knew a photographer was coming. Well, that a too. But <laughs> That's what it was. We did get a fire photo we on did. this day. We did. No, I wanted to kind of dress up and be in the energy of a date and just wanted to kind of get in the mood with you guys and create the atmosphere I wanted to feel like on screen. Yeah, I remember just feeling really excited to shoot this because this was kind of the meat of yeah. a lot of their initial chemistry. Yeah. This was also one of the lighter scenes yeah. in the film, you know, of just like Megan getting to be herself and expressing someone who like, sees her yeah. in a way that she's not used to. Yeah. And obviously having just lost her mother, they're just it felt like the first time that her mother wasn't so present yeah. on her mind. Yeah. There was drafts where you spoke about your mother in mm -hmm. it. And I purposely was like, I don't think that is the mood I want here. I want this scene to really build the connection in the present of showing you two kind of falling in love. Right. I debated it back and forth, but in the end I felt like if you talked about your mother, the scene would take on a, a heaviness right. that would make it yeah. impossible, as good as Lakeith is as an actor, to make a turn yeah. and kiss you. Mm -hmm. Your mom did? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> this was pretty early. This was like week one or two. I think it was the end of week, week one two. we shot this. I mean, you guys had great chemistry from the first read. Like when, yeah, after I talked to Lakeith, and I felt like he was really Michael. We flew down and saw you in Louisiana where you were shooting. Mm -hmm. And and this was the scene we read mm -hmm. together to see if we felt like, you know, this was all a match. And as and soon as he started talking. Even then it was like when we were doing the test, obviously improv was yeah. allowed. And he, we were going back and forth like with these tangents about music. And yeah. everything he brought up, I was like, yeah, I really do want to talk about this. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, we can keep going. Yeah, you guys were passionate about it. Oh, this is mm. that moment where he leans in and kisses you. And I remember the energy on set was just, it was just, it was, it, it, <laughs> <laughs> you have to rewind. I tried to do the heart and it wasn't me. This gives me anxiety when people leave their markers uncapped. Is it's that drying. why, is it dry? I had a teacher that you. did that. I was like, that's why you can't teach because um, you are here <laughs> doing this. Oh, this is really intimate, rewinding backwards of you guys kissing. Okay. When you guys finally kissed, it, it was, was it was time. electric. I was, everyone on set, I remember Will was behind us and he was like, oh, this is a trailer moment. <laughs> and and it definitely did end up in the trailer. Like you could kind of feel the electricity. The, the moment that I think is the best is, is this moment right here. When, cause this was ad lib. It was, sure was. It wasn't too early. Oh, I see. <laughs> It wasn't too early. too early. And he that was like right. the best ad lib ever that, you, you know, 
you could only come up with on the spot. I'm Stella McGee, the writer-director of The Photograph. And I'm Issa Rae, one of the actresses in The Photograph. The actress in The Photograph. Thanks so much for watching our episode of Notes on a Scene.